program is brought to you by Tide. Hot topic. Dye liner. Skinny jeans. Where do the emo species go? By the mid-2000s, suicide anthems were on the airwaves. Airwaves. And wrists were being slit across the street instead of down the river. By 2010, the emo species was completely extinct. Dr. Sheffield, a retired professor from Durham University, has a theory. By 2010, the emo species was completely wiped out. And a new species, hipster, was multiplying and spreading vastly throughout the United States. Today, almost 80% of the U.S. population is hipster. I believe that hipsters evolved from emos. Dr. Glass disagrees. Dr. Sheffield's theory is ludicrous. If emos evolved into hipsters, then why are there still emos in the rural areas of the Pacific Northwest? Dr. Sheffield's theory was lacking evidence, so she took an expedition to Silver Lake, California, the most populated hipster city in Southern California. Within her first 30 seconds, she found a link that would change everything. Today's program is brought to you by Tide. Within her first 30 seconds in Silver Lake, Dr. Sheffield made a significant discovery. I happen to be standing in a prime location. I see a woman in her late 20s at a cafe. Her name is Lucy. Some chick asked me if I was an emo in high school, and I was like, yeah. And then she asked me if she can see some pictures from when I was in high school, and I was like, fuck off. I eventually stole her bag. And that's how I got her last name. Dr. Sheffield went straight to research. I found her MySpace account. There she is. An emo. People always ask me, why are you so fascinated with emos? I just want to know where they went, you know? Lucy is the missing link. From this chart, we see that in 2001, goth cassettes watch every smoky corner. In 2003, they evolved by allowing their dark thoughts to appear into runny mascara. In 2008, their vulnerability evolved them into emo metagenesis. After years of medication, in 2010, they evolved into emo neanderthal hipster sapiens. Finally, today we have a mellow, nature-loving, emo hipster sapien. If Dr. Sheffield's theory is accurate, then who created the goth -casters? The debate still continues. Is Lucy a missing link between the emos and the hipsters? Or is she merely an ancient emo? Till next time. Bye! Today's program is brought to you by Tide. Thank you for watching Jen Star Show today. New episodes come out each Wild Wednesday.